Hello YouTube, I am coming at you with a review of this guy. This is the, let me look on my paper, Revolt Reflex. Um, I got it off eBay for $65. Um, it is, I believe, VG10 steel. Um, it has, I got it because it has this very interesting um, opening mechanism. Um, and I love the blade shape. This is probably my favorite. Favorite knives that have this blade shape. That's kind of my favorite blade shape. Uh, it's a broad um, drop point, full flat grind. VG10 is great. I, I know some people don't like it, but I love VG10. Um, it's what my fixed blade is. I find it easy to sharpen, easy to get back up uh, to sharpen again. So here is some size comparisons. Here's a Delica. Um, here is a Ontario Rat 2, and here is my favorite budget knife, the CJRB Mini Feldspar. Um, so you can see it's getting closer. It's probably like a 3.25 inch blade. Um, I'm a fan of 3 inch blades. Once they get up too close to 3.5 inch, I, I no longer really like them. They um, become harder to carry, and from my EDC stuff, I don't need, um, I don't need anything over 3 inches. Um, so, yep, uh, I'm, I've never weighed it, uh, I'll weigh it here in a second, I'm guessing it's heavy, uh, this mechanism and everything is pretty, feels pretty stout, and these handles are aluminum, so let's see here, Yep, 3.7 ounces, 3.8 ounces. So not too bad, not as bad as I thought, at least. Um, so I really thought I was gonna like this knife. I thought it was gonna be really cool. Um, and the reality is I don't like this knife. It's, the opening mechanism is not cool enough to uh, offset how much of a pain in the ass it is to, to operate. Um, so, uh, it does lock out, which is cool. Um, it's a totally useful tool. The, the handle, um, actually is pretty comfortable. Um, uh, the clip is pretty atrocious in, as far as a hotspot. It really, like, really, um, digs into your hand. Um, but whatever, that's fine. I don't do a whole lot of, you know, full... Like usually when I'm cutting with an EDC knife, I'm kind of up here or I'm here doing a quick something. Um, uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think it's an attractive knife. Um, I am glad, what did I say I paid for it? Um, I paid 65. So I'm glad I didn't pay more than that. Uh, I'll probably be selling this at some point. Um, yeah, it just doesn't really, doesn't really work for me. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's pretty much of a two-handed operation, um, to get this thing open or closed. Some people on YouTube have just opened it and not locked, not locked the mechanism out, which does make it easier to shut. But, um, yeah, the way that this thing uh, widens and just fits in the hand. Um, it's, it's a really cool concept. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got to play with it. Um, I'd say this would be a great knife to, if your friend has one, to go and check it out, you know, go and play with it for five minutes and you're probably going to be good. You probably don't need to, to buy one. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Revolt Reflex. Um, I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.